Oh, depends on the snake. Uh, some of these rattlesnakes uh, can envenomate you to a significant degree, and if you don't uh, seek out care quickly, uh, it's going to be fatal. Oh, typically not. Uh, somebody would have to truly be allergic to the scorpion uh, to, to, to suffer some type of fatal consequence. You're going to have some numbness, some burning at the site for 4 to 12 hours. Most of these cases will resolve on their own. It's going to be typically like a bee sting. It's going to be localized to the site. But uh, again, remember the killer bees. It isn't that one bee sting is going to kill you. It's the fact that you get a hundred or a thousand bee stings. They swarm on you. And uh, that's what makes these bees so deadly. Phoenix is the epicenter uh, for a valley fever. And valley fever is a, it's a fungus. It lives in the soil. It's been there for forever. And we have, though, over the last few hundred years, we've begun to disturb the, the soil, especially in the Phoenix area, to a significant degree. So the cases, when we go back uh, to 2000, uh, the cases have skyrocketed. Well, why? Well, because we are building more buildings, we're spreading out, we're disturbing more dirt. Well, the symptoms of valley fever are very similar to what you would see with the flu. So somebody may have fever, they may have cough, uh, they may complain of muscular discomfort, joint discomfort, and skin rashes. The fungus tends to be, become more prolific after rains. So when we have a heavy period of rain in the Phoenix area, the next year we always expect that we will see more valley fever cases because these little fungi begin to proliferate uh, more readily in a moist environment than they do in the dry environment. I rarely see people with a fever, with valley fever. Typically what I'm going to see are things like pneumonia. They're complaining of that cough and pulmonary congestion. And then when you look at uh, radiographic uh, pictures of the lungs, there are some very characteristic lesions that are consistent with valley fever. Anybody who demonstrates a chronic cough or has symptoms of prolonged muscular discomfort an unusual skin rash should see their doctor for that possibility. And then the doctor can determine through a laboratory analysis whether the patient truly has a valley fever and then determine whether they require treatment or not.